My name is Tony Giordano. I'm a charter member. My mom, whose name is Stephanie Matarazzo, was a Catholic daughter for many, many years at Court Caton in Catonsville. She was financial secretary there and was very active in the court. She was very good friends with Carmela Giordano, who's a first region. Coincidentally, I married a Giordano, but we're not related. When Carmela moved to Eldersburg, she started Port St. Joseph and became a first region, as I said, and my mom encouraged me at the time to join. So I became a charter member in 1988, but I left when I started my family in 1989. Many years later, Joan Brady, who we both went to Seton together, we were at a reunion, and she inspired me to return the Catholic Daughters. So I rejoined in January 2010. Then, when I retired in 2014, I was ready to hold an office. And as I mentioned, my mom had been financial secretary at Court Payton. So in her honor, I requested and became financial secretary when Kathy Monte was regent in 2014. I really enjoy being active in Catholic Daughters, and it's really enriched my life. In 2016, I became vice regent when Kathy Cavey was regent. Some of the things I did, I started St. Vincent's Villa Christmas Giving. We, we, we started uh, the nursing home bingo, and of course we had to stop when COVID came. I started Sisters Helping Sisters and also created the Unity and Charity Act of Kindness, thank you. In addition, I've been Quality of Life Chair, worked with the Share Magazine, and I'm currently Education Chair. I also have the honor of being in Jackie and Cowriac's Women of the Bible play, I miss her. Then I had the extreme honor to be awarded Catholic Daughter of the Year in 2018, my mom would be so proud. Small amount of money. There are many precious moments here. Our court was small, but our, our mission was strong. We wanted to help our community, our church, and those in need. But as far as aside from work, we also wanted to have some good times, and we served many Christmases together. We were in each other's homes. We did my dishes, and we had a lot of fun laughing and talking. Uh, we were trips around the town, visiting cathedrals, and so much more. My most cherished memory of the Catholic Doors that we were able to find the Junior Catholic Court. We a group of the most wonderful women who worked together. And I want to give now my sincere appreciation for all you've done for me, because the mission has never been completed. We have Melanie Adams, Joan Brady, Eddie Chestnut, Virginia Nichols, Karen Nichols, Linda Stanley, Janet Rayquin, and Mitch Weber. Girls talking about not knowing what we were doing. We were a group that didn't know how to start. And we decided we needed a junior court and not to work. And with the help of God, we started our court on October 11, 2020. So we believe now that with God's help, we can do everything. Our court grew and it was coming to an end when our girls were starting to go to college. So then we needed another court. And with some prayers, the Lord brought us come. She came and volunteered to start a court with us. She has been so wonderful and I bet that she should be blessed. So she is helping the girls and she's continuing young people to go forward in our church. Now I'd like to say to all of you, my gratitude and love go to all you women who are now part of our court. And I know we are in good hands and to me too. Hello, I'm uh, Terry Elliott and I'm a, a Catholic daughter and I'm giving a, a, a review of some of the uh, early times of uh, the Catholic Daughters because 
I am a, 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 a charter member, yes. And uh, our first regent was Carmela Giordano, and she started out in 1988 enlisting Catholic daughters, sisters, trying to enlist uh, new, uh, a new court. And it took the third try, needing 21 people to reach a quorum. Uh, there was a state person that uh, wrote to me uh, on uh, April 28th, uh, 1988, and, uh, re and, and responding to a requ request about the CDA courts uh, um, by uh, Carmela. Carmela was instigator. Uh, inst in Instrumental. Instrumental, yes, to get this court started. And this person was a state person, and uh, her name was uh, Mrs. Floor, Helen Floor. And she wrote me a letter encouraging uh, me and giving me some hints and saying, contacting some of the other friends. And of course, there were already. Uh, prospective uh, CDA sisters uh, available, but we were not 21 people. And uh, so there was a meeting in the hall of uh, St. Joseph's here where several women were invited and uh, there were a number of notices uh, attached to the uh, Sunday um, bulletins, and uh, Ms. Mrs. Floor mentioned that it was a number of 1,200, and we were enlisting people to stuff the bulletins. And so uh, we, we finally had uh, 21 people after trying three times. In, uh, so they were coming, all coming down the steps, and uh, and there was uh, there were se several of the uh, Catholic daughters uh, uh, that were inviting them, and uh, so we started a court, and that was uh, in June on June the second, nineteen eighty eight, and uh, and I think the first meeting was on July the seventh of eighty eight, and that was to install court offices and uh, get it uh, uh, organized. And then uh, uh, and, and so at Camilla Giordano's newsletter, first newsletter, uh, showed there were six more members uh, interested in entering uh, Court St. St. Joseph number 2300. Uh, and uh, and state offices were attending also. Now we had many projects that were planned ahead for the year, such as uh, donation projects. And there was uh, Thanksgiving baskets for Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas for the needy, and there were auctions and fashion shows, uh, Wolfgang candy to uh, have uh, monies uh, available to give the donations and uh, bake sale events. Then we also had several uh, items that were for the good of the court and the members and uh, priest appreciation. We had uh, Father Ted uh, Cassidy, he was our chaplain and then also the first priest appreciation um, was, um, uh, there were also other priests that are attending. Uh, and we, the sisters were really cheerfully uh, helping to enhance the court and always scouting for new members. That was always a, a main thing. And then her 
there, there were uh, sisters that were uh, named uh, Missing Person and Hand Clasp Chair. And then uh, Gertrude, uh, Gertrude Pre uh, Fraser, she was the Hand Clasp Chair. Then we had Daisy Sisters and many more assignments for the good of the court following our motto, Unity and Charity. And um, other events uh, were, of course, May Procession. And we went to the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in uh, D.C. Then uh, we had a Marissa retreat. Then there was convention. A fall conference was uh, in McHenry, uh, at McHenry Whisper Hotel in Oakland, Maryland, and that was in October of 89. Then we also invited speakers to meetings. Uh, there were art, uh, arts and crafts uh, uh, times in uh, agriculture, horti horticulture uh, speakers. And there were discussion uh, was uh, uh, from uh, Father Ted Cassidy, such as a marriage encounter for the sisters, and uh, many more being all along over the years, numerous with uh, uh, valid members. And it became a success, and little, little by little, uh, we increased in uh, membership. And it's a nice, uh, a wonderful organization to be a member of. Hi, I'm Kelly Demanis. I'm going to tell you a story, a story maybe about 70 years ago. Two little girls, about nine and ten years old, that were friends, and their mother belonged to the Catholic. Their mothers belonged to the Catholic door, and, and they would go to the communion breakfast, the fashion shows, the bingos with their mothers. This was the first introduction to Catholic daughters. As we as we grew older, we stayed in touch. Um, many years. <coughs> I met my friend at Mass one Sunday, and she said, what are you doing here? And I said, I moved here. She says, meet me at 7 o'clock Thursday evening in the church hall. I said, okay, I'll come. It was my very first Catholic daughter meeting. Um, we were a very small group as in the beginning. Sometimes we didn't even have enough members to make a quorum to vote. This, my friend was Pat Matsko, and she what <coughs> became the regent several years later. Some of my very favorite memories were the potluck dinners at the end of the year that we had at several at Terry Elliott's backyard. And we would have the installation at officers under the tree in the sunset. It was beautiful. The ladies looked so beautiful in their robes and under the trees. Um, we also had some potluck dinners at Gertrude's. And our bus trips, and our long trips to Longwood Gardens, and boat trip in Washington. Ladies, we have grown and have many have had many activity. I still wear my mother's pin on my ribbon next to mine, very proudly. Hi, it's Gertrude and Soretta, and uh, so our memory, hopefully, it's appropriate, is uh, our first convention where we were there with uh, in a bar with another court. And there was a woman who was in her late 70s or 80s um, asking uh, the forest rangers who were there on their own convention if they wanted to go in the woods with her to help her find her path. Um, 
so that's one of the funnier memories I have. Uh, another one is wedding dresses through the ages. Um, so those are our memories and happy 35th anniversary Court St. Joseph 2300. Congratulations to the Catholic Daughters of America on your 35th anniversary of your charter. God bless you on behalf of myself and St. Tim's. Everything that you have done over these last 35 years, I know that the people looking before me for the youth ministry and confirmation here, I benefit so much from y'all's service. Just know that from the bottom of my heart, from everyone on behalf of the youth ministry and confirmation, thank you. God bless you guys. Your work is truly bearing fruit. Have a great celebration and I look forward to serving with you. Greetings, my dear friends. I consider all of you the Catholic Daughters as my girlfriends, and my wife understands. Love you all, and I just want to congratulate you on your 35 years of being here at the church, the Catholic Daughters. Wow, you've done so much for the Lord over these years, and I really deeply appreciate it. God bless you. 